very good evening to all of you i am gulapsa your mentor and i welcome you all to a special session whereby we will be discussing important news that is related to rbi and that is of prime importance for any finance student preparing for any of the examination so in today's session we will be discussing why has rbi liberated the forex flows in india and what does that mean for the indian economy but before that there are two piece of information for you guys the first is that we have started with the live classes the schedule of which has been shared to you over the telegram group the live classes has been started for rbi sebi as well as for nabard and for subjects such as management and esi it will be starting from 15th of july if you have not enrolled in the courses please do visit our website check the course and enroll for the same apart from that if you have still not downloaded our app you can do so by going on to the google play store this app is one stop solution for any exam related updates live video sessions monthly magazines topper strategies past year papers as well as daily quizzes and general knowledge so this app will help you better prepare for the examination which you are aspiring to succeed in so what is the agenda for today so today we will be talking about the liberalization of forex flows by rbi through the measures such as exemptions from reserve requirements ceiling on interest rates fpi investments in debt foreign currency lending and doubling the annual overseas borrowing limits for companies so rbi has taken several measures under these five heads and using these measures rbi is trying to liberalize enhance as well as increase the forex flows in india and why is rbi trying to do so for the obvious reason that our rupee has been slipping down right our rupee has been slipping down and in order to support the rupee we need sufficient amount of forex and in order to increase forex rbi has been has come up with this five major steps which it believes that it will result in an increase in forex which can be utilized to support the rupee and stabilize the rupee in india i hope the agenda for today is clear so let's get started now as we all know that the global economy at large has been facing problems and concerns of recession as well as stagflation and this can be seen from the signs such as high volatility in prices sell off of the assets and large sp spill over effects whereby there has been huge exodus of capital huge exodus or capital flights from emerging countries to safe haven countries or where the where the currency is more stable तो जितने भी emerging countries हैं सब सब suppose such as India वहाँ से पैसे निकाल कर एफ पी आईज आर ट्राइंग टू इन्वेस्ट इन अदर सेफ हैवन कंट्रीज एंड दिस हैज रिजल्टेड इन टू मेजर इफेक्ट्स फर्स्ट देर हैज बीन अ रिट्रेंचमेंट इन द पोर्टफोलियो फ्लोज दैट इज द फॉरन पोर्टफोलियो इन फ्लोज एंड सेकेंडली देर हैज बीन परसिस्टेंट डाउनवर्ड प्रेशर ऑन द करेंसीज तो जितने भी एमर्जिंग कंट्रीज हैं उनकी करेंसीज पे बहुत ज़्यादा डाउनवर्ड प्रेशर आया देर हैज़ बिन डेप्रिसिएशन डेप्रिसिएटिंग कंसर्नस ऑन द करेंसी इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इंडिया देन एज ऑफ नाउ आर इंडियन रुपी हैज डेप्रिशिएटेड बाई फोर पॉइंट वन परसेंट अगेंस्ट यू एस डॉलर and if you look at the growth prospects of india we can see that india is still strong and resilient enough to support to support its rupee however rbi in order to support it in a much better way has come up with several measures and why has rbi come up with these measures rbi has come up with these measures in order to have more liquidity in the forex market so that any kind of dollar tightness that has occurred can be reduced with the objective of ensuring orderly market functioning to so rbi ne closely monitor kiya hai liquidity conditions ko forex market mein and it has come up with the following measures so that it can uh, it can boost the forex inflows in india and at the same time support the rupee so first measure which has been taken by rbi is the exemption from reserve requirements as we all know what are reserve requirements so reserve requirements are basically rcrr and slr right 
cash reserve ratio and the statutory liquidity ratio which is calculated as a percentage of the net demand and time liabilities so rbi ne kya socha hai that it will exempt certain companies certain sets of uh, depositors from this reserve requirement and by doing so it will attract foreign flows and increase the credit creation in the economy ab theko rbi ne kya kiya hai rbi has so earlier kya hota tha that any type of foreign currency non resident deposits as well as non resident external rupee deposits ab ye do tarike ke deposits hain which are done by non residents so all those non residents who are depositing in into the bank of india either in foreign currency for example dollar or in rupee non residents investing in india in the form of rupee they their their certain percentages were included in the ndtl that is the net demand and time liabilities and based on certain percentages the crr and slr were kept but now rbi has decided that it will exempt such investments such deposits from maintaining any reserve requirement from the time period july 1st 2022 to november 4 2022 and what will be the implication of this so while doing this rbi or the banks can attract more foreign flows why will rbi will attract more foreign flows because of the obvious reason that the bank will now have more money available with it to lend it to other to borrowers and thereby it will be in a better position to provide better returns to this non residents who are investing in the form of foreign currency or indian rupee and thereby the banks can also increase the credit creation and provide more better returns to the investors so i hope the implication is clear to you or aisa karne se there will be an increase in the foreign flows through this foreign currency non resident term deposits i hope this first measure which has been taken by rbi is clear to you moving forward to the second measure that is interest rates on foreign currency non resident deposits and non resident external rupee denominated deposits so what is the present situation so as of now any deposits made in foreign currency or in indian rupee by non residents attracts certain ceilings on its interest rates suppose if the maturity of such deposits is for a period of 1 to 3 years then it will have an alternative reference rate plus 250 basis points as the interest rate and for a maturity of 3 to 5 years it the applicable interest rates will be the alternative reference rate plus 350 basis point what is this alternative reference rate now there are certain rates which are being used by banks to provide interest on the deposits that it is being taking on so alternative reference rates are overnight rates theek hai ye overnight rates hota hai and this rates are based on certain reference rates such as your libor that is the Lon london interbank rate or other rates it can be of the europe european nations rate to so, is rate pay 250 basis points that is 2.5% or 350 basis point that is 3.5% इंटरेस्ट रेट सीलिंग होती थी जो नॉन रेसिडेंट को उनके टर्म डिपॉजिट्स पे मिलता था एंड वन मोर क्राइटेरिया वाज दैट एनी इंटरेस्ट दैट इज पेड ऑन नॉन रेसिडेंट रुपी डिपॉजिट्स विल ऑलवेज बी लेसर देन एनी इंटरेस्ट दैट इज पेड ऑन रुपी डिनोमिनेटेड डोमेस्टिक डिपॉजिट्स सपोज कोई डोमेस्टिक सपोज देर इज अ रेसिडेंट एंड देर इज अ नॉन रेसिडेंट ना बोथ आर मेकिंग डिपॉजिट्स इन एन इंडियन बैंक and in terms of rupee theek hai to isko jo return milega the resident will be receiving more interest than the non resident so this was the criteria as of now however in order to boost the forex flows just a second guys let me clean yes now in order to boost forex inflows in india rbi has removed this ceiling on the interest rate temporarily between 7th july to 31st october 2022 and now since this rates has been removed 
the foreign currency in the non residents depositing in foreign currency or in indian rupee will be getting will be getting more better returns and thereby rbi as well as the banks can attract more deposits into the demo, domestic uh, domestic banking system and the banks at the same time can reduce the cost of funds that it has to undertake in order to provide for this deposits kaise reduce hoga suppose ab ab inko ye ceiling follow nahi karna hai so now the banks will be providing interest on the same basis as it has been providing to the domestic investors to jo domestic investors ko milta tha wahi interest ab nre depositors ko bhi milega non resident depositors ko bhi milega thereby the cost of funding for the banks will reduce and since the cost of funding for the banks will reduce the banks will be in a better position to provide for higher returns kyunki uski cost kam ho rahi hai to wo higher returns provide kar sakta hai non resident deposits ke liye thereby dono ke liye win win uh, situation hai as well as this will result in an increase in the forex and thereby this forex can be utilized by rbi in order to support the rupee i hope this is clear to you now moving forward to the third measures that has been taken by rbi and that is investment in debt by the foreign portfolio investors ab tak aapko ye pata hoga that foreign portfolio investors usually invest in stocks and equities but aisa nahi hai in order to encourage their investment in government securities as well as in corporate bonds the government of india that RBI in consultation with SEBI has provided with three channels through which you can invest an FPI a non resident can invest in government securities as well as corporate bonds that is in debt instruments ab debt instruments mein bhi invest kar sakte ho these three channels are MTF that is the medium term framework then we have the voluntary retention route and third we have the fully accessible route theek hai तो तीन चैनल्स हैं जिसके थ्रू आप डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हो एंड एज ऑफ नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फुल्ली एक्सेसिबल रूट व्हाट आर दिस फुल्ली एक्सेसिबल रूट दिस मींस दैट अंडर दिस रूट द एफपीआई कैन इन्वेस्ट इन द डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट विदाउट एनी रेस्ट्रिक्शन और लिमिटेशन आपके ऊपर कोई रेस्ट्रिक्शन नहीं होगा जैसे डोमेस्टिक इन्वेस्टर्स इन्वेस्ट करते हैं foreign investors can also invest under these route without any restrictions or under the far that is the fully accessible route rbi has specified certain securities or is securities mein hi restrictions bilkul zero hain je as it is aap uh, invest kar sakte ho this specified securities are all centrally uh, all central government securities with 5 10 or 30 years of maturity these securities are known as specified securities however in order to provide more choices to the foreign portfolio investors as well as to have more liquidity in uh, liquidity in the debt instruments rbi has now said that any government security having maturity of 7 years or 14 years will be included in the specified securities iska implication kya hoga since more choices are provided to the fpi there will be more liquidity that is more forex flows and thereby using those forex flows we can utilize the amount to support the rupee theek hai talking about the medium term framework isme isme kya hota hai medium term framework mein rbi allows foreign portfolio investors to invest in debt securities with certain regulations or certain uh, restrictions these restrictions are known as macro prudential short term limit ab ye short term limit kya hai ki agar for portfolio foreign portfolio investors invest in government securities or corporate bonds then such investments can be Uh, can be in short term security that is it can be less than 1 year maturity only up to a maximum of 30% investment suppose fpi 100 dollars invest karna chahta hai then only up to a maximum of 30 dollars 
कैन हैव अ मेचोरिटी लेस देन वन ईयर मतलब थर्टी डॉलर मैक्सिमम लिमिट है इससे कम ही होना चाहिए जिसकी मेचोरिटी लेस देन वन ईयर है रिमेनिंग सेवेंटी डॉलर शुड हैव मेचोरिटी मोर देन वन ईयर इनकी मेचोरिटी मोर देन वन ईयर को होनी चाहिए राइट बट इन ऑर्डर टू इन ऑर्डर टू हैव डाइवर्स सोर्सेज ऑफ फॉरेक्स फंड आर बी आई हैज एग्जेप्टेड दिस प्रोडेंश मैक्रो प्रोडेंशियल शॉर्ट टर्म लिमिट टिल अक्टूबर थर्टी फर्स्ट टू थाउजेंड That means that अगर FPI पी आई इन्वेस्ट करना चाहता है मीडियम टर्म फ्रेमवर्क में देन इट कैन डू सो फॉर ए पीरियड लेस देन वन ईयर कोई ऐसे थर्टी परसेंट फोर्टी परसेंट की लिमिट नहीं है अब आप हंड्रेड परसेंट भी इन्वेस्ट कर सकते हो हैविंग मेचोरिटीज ऑफ लेस देन वन ईयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एफ पी आई इन्वेस्टिंग इन कॉर्पोरेट डेट सिक्योरिटीज कॉर्पोरेट डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में आप इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हो तो एज ऑफ नाउ यू हैड टू इन्वेस्ट फॉर अ मिनिमम ऑफ वन ईयर गवर्नमेंट सिक्योरिटीज में लेस देन वन ईयर हो सकता था बट टू ए मैक्सिमम ऑफ थर्टी परसेंट बट इफ यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन कॉर्पोरेट डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट देन यू हैड टू इन्वेस्ट फॉर अ मिनिमम ऑफ वन ईयर दैट मीन्स आप मनी मार्केट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में अब तक इन्वेस्ट नहीं कर पा रहे थे आपको वन ईयर तक इन्वेस्ट करना पड़ रहा था बट विद द न्यू Easing norms brought by the RBI. Ab till 31st October 2022, FPI can now invest in corporate ma money market instruments such as your certificate of deposits, CPs, as well as other non-convertible debentures, having a maturity of less than one year. ठीक है? And you are also being provided with the option that if you want to invest more than one year then you are uh, free to do so theek hai to isse kya hoga ab dekho teen cheeze hain ab maine aapko bata diya jo mtf hai that is the medium term framework iske andar there are certain restrictions which you have to follow if you are investing into debt instruments and these restrictions are for the fpi hold the fpi investors ये रेस्ट्रिक्शन क्या था कि मैक्सिमम थर्टी परसेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट आप शॉर्ट टर्म सिक्योरिटी में कर सकते हो रिमेनिंग नीड टू बी डन इन 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 मेचोरिटी मोर देन वन ईयर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉलेंट्री रिटेंशन रूट अब वॉलेंट्री रिटेंशन रूट में ये होता है दैट इफ एन एफ पी आई वॉलेंट्रीली वॉन्ट्स कि वो कुछ सिक्योरिटीज कुछ इन्वेस्टमेंट्स रिटेन करना चाहता है रिटेन करना चाहता है डेट इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स में देन इट कैन डू सो दे विल बी सर्टन रेस्ट्रिक्शन सर्टन मैक्रो प्रोडेंशियल रेस्ट्रिक्शन विच इट विल हैव टू फॉलो एंड वॉलेंटरली इट कैन डिपॉजिट सर्टन इट कैन डिपॉजिट सर्टन परसेंटेज ऑफ इट्स इन्वेस्टमेंट इन दी वॉलेंट्री रिटेंशन रूट ठीक है और थर्ड है फुल्ली एक्सेसिबल रूट जिसके अंदर कोई भी रेस्ट्रिक्शंस नहीं होता एनी टाइप ऑफ मैक्रो प्रोडेंशियल शॉर्ट टर्म लिमिट और अदर रेगुलेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट्स आर नॉट देयर इन फुल्ली एक्सेसिबल रूट ठीक है अब इससे क्या हुआ है फर्स्ट देर हैज बीन एन इंक्रीज इन चॉइसेस फॉर द एफपीआई आप शॉर्ट टर्म में करना चाहते हो थ्री मंथ सिक्स मंथ वन वन ईयर आप कर सकते हो आप मोर देन वन ईयर के लिए भी कर सकते हो नाउ दिस फीचर्स विल लियो द एफपीआई होल्डर्स एंड देर वाई देर विल बी एन इंक्रीज इन लिक्विडिटी एंड दिस लिक्विडिटी विल इनहेंस द फॉरेक्स इन फ्लू इन इंडिया thereby utilizing this forex rbi can support the indian rupee i hope this is clear to you now moving forward to the fourth measure which has been taken by rbi in order to enhance forex forex inflows in india and it talks about the foreign currency lending by authorized dealers category 1 banks so rbi has categorized banks uh, into certain category जिसमें से कैटेगरी वन टू थ्री है एंड दीज आर नोन एज ऑथराइज डीलर्स ऑथराइज डीलर्स क्यों बोला जाता है इनको बिकॉज दीज आर ऑथराइज बाय आरबीआई अंडर सेक्शन टेन ऑफ फेमा एक्ट टू टू प्रोवाइड फॉर फॉरेन सिक्योरिटीज टू प्रोवाइड फॉर टू प्रोवाइड फॉर फॉरन सिक्योरिटीज एज वेल एज टू एनेबल यू टू मेक ट्रांजेक्शन इन फॉरेक्स फॉरेक्स करेंसी फॉरन एक्सचेंज करेंसी में आपको ट्रांजेक्शन करने देगा और फॉरेक्स सिक्योरिटीज में आपको ट्रेड करने देगा ठीक है तो एट प्रेजेंट क्या रूल्स हैं तो एट प्रेजेंट एट प्रेजेंट द ऑथराइज डीलर्स एंड दैट टू इन कैटेगरी वन कैन अंडरटेक 
uh, overseas foreign currency borrowing up to 100% of their unimpaired tier 1 capital iska kya matlab hota hai suppose if an authorized dealer has 100 million dollars 100 million dollars of unimpaired tier 1 capital a tier 1 capitals are known as the highest quality capital that can be utilized to fully pay off the uh, to fully pay off any type of uncertainties if it happens and unimpaired ka matlab hota hai that it has been provided for any type of provisions or backlogs or any types of losses to un sab ko hata ke jo aapki best of best quality capital hoti hai authorized dealers are authorized are uh, allowed to borrow hundred percent matlab aap hundred million dollars tak dobara se borrow kar sakte ho and that too in foreign currency aap foreign currency mein borrow kar sakte ho itne amount ko aur us dollar hundred million ya fir uh, ten dollar million aap kar sakte ho whichever is higher to aapki jo bhi tier one capital hogi ya ten million us dollars jo bhi higher hoga wo aap borrow kar sakte ho in foreign currency and secondly aapne jo ye foreign currency borrow ki hai you cannot use this for lending in foreign currency aapne borrow kar li you can use it for other purposes but you cannot use this to borrow in foreign currency suppose aapne 100 dollars borrow kiye hain aap ye 100 uh, dollars ko rupee mein lend kar sakte ho rupee mein aap logon ko lend karo but aap dollar mein isko lend nahi kar sakte however in order to boost the forex flows rbi has come up with uh, with this provision whereby it has said that the over the, with overseas foreign currency borrowings can be used for lending in foreign currency till october 31 2022 31st october tak jo bhi aap foreign currency mein borrow kar rahe the aap usko foreign currency mein hi uh, lend kar sakte ho suppose aapne 2% percent pay borrow kiya tha ab aap isko 3% percent pay same foreign currency ko de sakte ho thik hai ab lend kar sakte ho ab isse kya hoga now by doing so it will facilitate higher borrowing by a larger set of borrowers ab jo bhi borrowers the who found it difficult to borrow foreign currency from the overseas market jinko accessibility nahi thi foreign currency market ki overseas market ki they can they will be facilitated as they will be able to borrow from the authorized dealers category 1 banks and thereby they can use this foreign currency in order to make payments for the imports or any other requirements that they are facing so this was the implication and by doing so we will have more of forex in the country and using these forex this uh, rbi can boost its forex reserves and it can at times of needs can use it as a cushion to intervene in the market in order to support the rupee so the last measure taken by rbi to boost the forex inflow is external commercial borrowing so what rbi has done is uh, first, we'll talk about the present scenario. So, under the automatic external commercial borrowing route, what is automatic external commercial borrowing, borrowing route? Iska ye matlab hota hai that you did not require any permission by RBI in order to borrow from any foreign institution. So, iske under the eligible borrowers were allowed to raise funds to their authorized dealer banks however there were certain provisions which they had to follow such as the prudential norms such as uh, all in cost ceiling what is all in cost ceiling all in cost ceiling is uh, is the maximum cost that the borrower is has to incur will incur in order to get this loan so uh, suppose uh, rbi ne all in cost ceiling 5% rakh rakha hai that suppose if a borrower wants to borrow $100 from the foreign institutions then it can do so but its maximum cost of borrowing should not be $5. Agar $5 se zyada ho rahe, then it cannot borrow from the foreign institution. So this was the present scenario. However, in order to enhance, in order to increase the forex in the country, RBI has temporarily increase the limit and it has doubled 
it has doubled the foreign uh, external commercial borrowings by the companies whereby agar wo pehle 750 million us dollars borrow kar pa rahe the now under the automatic route they will be able to borrow 1.5 billion us dollars till 31st december 2022 and apart from that rbi has also said that the all in cost ceiling will also be increased by 100 basis point that is 1 person agar maximum cost of borrowing 5 person tha previous uh, provision mein it can now go up to 6 person ab 6 person cost pe bhi foreign uh, external commercial borrowing kar sakte ho now while doing this borrowing you will bring more of forex in india right suppose indian company hai it needs money and it is difficult for it to get it from the indian market so it goes to suppose say singapore right singapore se wo borrow kar raha hai and it is been getting the loan at the rate 6% so this is allowed by rbi and while bringing it is uh, taking loan in the form of dollars par india mein dollar ki to utilization hogi nahi usko rupee chahiye hoga right so what this indian company will do this indian company will sell the dollar टू आर बी आई आर बी आई को डॉलर सेल करेगा राइट एंड इट विल डिमांड रूपी एंड वाइल डिमांडिंग रूपी इट विल हैव अपवर्ड प्रेशर ऑन रूपी दे बाई वी कैन स्टेबिलाईज द रूपी डेप्रिसिएशन सो दिस इज द क्रक्स विच आर बी आई इज यूटिलाइजिंग एंड इट इज ट्राइंग टू कम अप विद सेवरल डिफरेंट मेजर्स एंड इन ऑर्डर टू टैप द नॉन रेसिडेंस डिपॉजिटर्स so that it can utilize the money uh it can utilize the money so that it can boost the forex reserves in india theek hai so jitne bhi measures humne padhe right jitne bhi measures humne padhe in sab measure ka ek hi uh ek hi agenda hai that is to liberalize or to enhance the forex reserves I hope ये आपको clear हुआ होगा Reserve requirement को हटा कर banks can lend more and when you are able to lend more you can provide better returns and if you are getting better returns you will be getting more of uh, uh, forex more of foreign currency now this foreign currency will act as forex and thereby will support your rupee similarly if you are removing the ceiling from the interest rates then the foreign currency uh, then non residents providing foreign currency deposits will be getting more return and thereby your forex will also increase to support your rupee thirdly fpi investment in debt since wo log uh, stock se apna paisa hata rahe hain you are trying to encourage them to invest in debt whereby there are more stable returns and thereby you are encouraging more of forex in the country fourthly foreign currency lending by authorized dealers earlier jo bhi wo borrow kar rahe the they were not allowed to lend in foreign currency but now uh, this for authorized dealers can lend in foreign currency which the indian indian individual or the company will sell to rbi and it will demand rupee thereby boosting the demand for rupee and appreciating the rupee and fourthly doubling the annual overseas borrowings will bring in more of foreign currency which will be utilized to increase the forex of the country to act as a cushion in order to support and stabilize the uh, the currency that is the indian rupee in the economy so i hope it was clear to you so this was all for today uh like the session and in case of any query you can comment it down thank you